Good morning, folks. We've got an active sun with eruptive activity across the Earth-facing half. We also have four articles to hit today, all in the realm of changing science of climate, astronomy, and NOVA. We also had another big quake, but first, let's take a look at the last 24 hours of space weather. The sun has several sunspot groups, and they are crackling with solar flares. They're not producing significant CMEs, but they are becoming more and more complex. We also have a sizable coronal hole directly facing Earth today. The solar wind at Earth is currently decreasing slightly as the previous coronal hole stream ends, but we have more coming. This central dark opening is spewing faster solar wind that will impact Earth either Sunday night or Monday and is likely to produce geomagnetic activity. We'll end the solar segment taking a look at 304 angstroms where the flare flashing and minor CME production are visible. We'll certainly need to keep an eye on these active regions today for more eruptive activity of a larger nature, especially since it would add to the coronal hole stream already on its way to Earth. The earthquake uptick continues to 6.3 in Indonesia just south of the Philippines here. That is a blood echo by the way at the low velocity zone. Again, hopefully this will be all we get, but the quake factors are still all there at the moment. First article in the changing science hits the tundra and the permafrost. Turns out that the mega carbon release that has been used to scare us in the mainstream media is unreasonable. The trends are not going to trigger a cascade of release from the Arctic regions. Scientists recently found a planet that makes no sense. It's the first massive gas giant seen around a younger low-mass M-dwarf star, something they had previously believed was impossible. Similarly, James Webb has just found supermassive early galaxies that formed so quickly they challenged the Big Bang and early universe timelines. Veteran observers will recall this being a major topic of the last decade in terms of problems with the Big Bang. And finally, the one that deserves the like button. Just go hit it now. Another solid study solidifying the occurrence of single star recurrent nova events. We've seen a few of these break the mold of needing a binary to produce repeating novas, including micronova. But once more, we see the paradigm shifting, and as it turns out, they still don't know nova, with implications for what our sun is capable of as well. Click that like button. Check out below the video for links to our Blitz Tour events. Come out and see us. Links to Mammoth Nation where you can stop sending money to China, stop sending money to Amazon, and buy USA. We've got playlists and other resources as well. It's all there below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.